How's it going? And today we're going to do a tutorial on what's called color isolation, or you can call it color splash. It's also can be called the Schindler list effect because there's a scene in Schindler's list where you see this little girl and she's in a, a red coat. So it's a, it's definitely a creative effect. The, the cool thing about it is it's really fairly easy to do. It's uh, it's kind of fun in that way. So the first thing you're going to need though for to do this effect is some footage. If you're going to be using a person, the person needs to be wearing a solid color. So with, whether it's a dress or a shirt, it should be a solid color. And the other thing to be aware of is hopefully that your, your lighting is consistent. Like in this case, she goes in and out of some pockets of light. And ideally we should have just kept her either in the shadows or all in the light. If the lighting's changing on the on your subject it could affect the way the mask works. For this effect all we really need is is one plugin so we we have our clip on the timeline go into event effects and we go to color corrector secondary and what this will allow us to do it'll allow us to do a couple things but the main thing is it allows us to isolate a color out of the image so you'll see how we'll do that in just a minute. So one of the first things I'm just resizing my window here to get in a better position the one thing is I want to get her a little bit closer where I see more of the blue. Now on the plugin itself, you've got two tabs up here. One just seems to be a modernized version of the old tab. This is what the old tab used to look like. And this is the new modern looking tab. They all both have the same uh, functionality. I prefer this one just because it seems like every I can see every all everything right there. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to see where it says select effect range and we're going to click that. And then we're going to click somewhere on the blue dress somewhere like that. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to click on this. A lot of people don't do it this way, but uh, we're going to click show mask so you can see actually what you're doing. <laughs> So at first you, it doesn't look like you can see anything, but if we first come to limit luminance and drag it down, generally that goes all the way to low. And then we bring up uh, limit luminance all the way to high. And that doesn't seem like that's helped us very much. And then we'll come to limit saturation, put that on low and that helps us. And then we'll boost this to high. And you can see the what's being focused on or brought out is just the blue color because that's the color that we had uh, selected. And then you can come over here to limit hue and just, you got to be careful playing around with this one because it's really just the slightest little move one way or the other affects it. But try to, try to just play with these settings to get the, to where the, the dress is totally white and keep an eye out for where it might be blue somewhere else in the scene too. So let's, I'm just holding control to give me a little finer control and seeing where I get the best bang for my buck here. And I'll try smooth as well here. So smooth, I think maybe right about there. So I'd say right there is a pretty good, pretty good mask. So once I got my mask, really my color selected, I can unclick show mask. And then it looks like we just got a regular scene. But then if I come up here to saturation and I pull that down, you can see that her dress has desaturated. So it almost looks like a brown. And then what we do is if we hit invert mask, you see she's her dress is now blue and the background is black and white. So there's your, there's your effect primarily. Now if we wanted to punch this up a little bit in terms of the black and white, we could come into effects again and go to color curves and you can just double click this and it will come up up here and you go okay and it's already kind of high with the highlights some pockets blown up so i maybe just barely touch that but what i really want to do is bring down the shadows here so i added just a little bit darkness to it and that's believe it or not that's how easy it is to do. The other thing is when you go to render, don't forget, uh, you always want to set your render settings on the highest quality. So we're going to put this at 32 bit and this on best. And then uh, when you go to render, you just pick your poison. In this case, I'm, I'm a big fan of this uh, Sony AVC, even though it's a little bit slower to render out than some of the others. It does a nice, nice job. 
So I'm just gonna call this color something like that. And then we'll just render it out. Got another one, I'm just gonna overwrite that. And it's as simple as that. So I, uh, I hope you found this helpful. I have uh, another video related to this, another tutorial on what you can do with this, this mask. This actually creates a, an animated mask based on color. And so this has additional applications that I'll show you on another tutorial. So until then, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.